All right, so we're at Akron Children's Hospital today. Caden um, was a normal baby when he was born. When he was 18 months old, we started to notice that he was limping a little. As he got older, it, it, his ability to even use the walker and everything got a little bit worse, and he was pretty much wheelchair-bound by the time he was about eight or nine years old. He wanted to say hi. He's saying out. He was diagnosed at the Cleveland Clinic with Lay syndrome, which is a type of mitochondrial disease. It doesn't allow a certain part of his brain to get enough energy. It takes a toll on your whole system. And um, it, it's, it's a tough disease because there, there's no cure for those diseases. And really all you can do is manage the symptoms. Uh -huh. We were afraid to go out too much because you didn't, we didn't know how to deal with it. You think about, where can I take a wheelchair? How am I gonna feed him with a feeding tube? Is it gonna be too hot? Is it gonna be too cold? You know, all those things that you think about, you know, they, they really make you feel hopeless sometimes. In uh, early 2011, uh, the Wish Granters came out and told Caden he was gonna get a wish. And at that time, Caden wasn't very verbal. When Disney came up, you know, we got a few more smiles and of course he knew that his siblings would love it. So uh, I think he probably went as much for them as, as for himself. Caden's wish really um, opened our eyes to what we could do. And um, I think it, it it really just taught us that we could do more. The summer after we went on his wish, we went out to uh, Yacht Blast and Caden got to draw the name for the, the raffle for the Harley that year. And he got so excited uh, about telling his story and people asking him questions and asking us questions. He got so excited for that, that you know we're like, we need to do more of this. You know, this is what he's passionate about. How could we give back and, and how could we help other families feel this way? This gave us a puck. And I think that was the realization at that event was that we could really do a lot more than what we're doing. Seven or eight weeks later, we had our first Caden's Wish event at Champs and raised uh, about $20,000 and granted four wishes that year. And that was it, then we were hooked. We started to think, well, geez, you know, we've done 20 wishes. I think we could get to 100 in a few years. Let's just make a big goal and say, we want to grab 100 wishes. This last Caden's wish uh, in, in November of, of fall was, was difficult because Caden wasn't there with us. We knew his life expectancy wasn't great, but he, always battled back. This time was the exception in, in September of 2019. It was, it was tough. Um, it's been, been really tough since. Um, he's, he's kind of been the catalyst of our family and uh, the center point for so long. We know that, that that's, his wish was to give more wishes and any way we can do that just helps. And it helps us feel like he's still impacting everybody here. I'm also so overwhelmingly proud to be Caden's dad. And to see the impact that he's had. And that I think that all I have to do is think about that. And I know that what we're doing is what we're supposed to be doing. If we can help just a handful of families to be impacted in even remotely the same way that we have been, then it'll be worth doing this for as long as we can.